Okay guys, uh, here is Lionel's version of the Reading and Northern 425. As you can see, it has a nice color. I don't know how uh, prototypical it is. Uh, it seems to be a little bit bright to me uh, compared to MTH's, uh, which is a darker blue. And even on the videos that I've seen um, of the 425 down in Jim Thorpe, it is uh, a little bit lighter than that. A couple other differences uh, that it has right off the bat, you can see the sand dome right in here. It um, sort of looks like a wart. Uh, a couple of guys have called it warts. Okay, but uh, like on the MTHs, it's a little bit wider. Uh, this one has more of a, a, a dome type of uh, look to it. Also, uh, on the back dome here, the pressure dome, uh, the uh, whistle on the MTHs is out the side, and the whistle on the Lionel's is in the back, and you can see there is the blowhole for the... Uh, whistle steam to come up. Whistle is pretty darn cool. I think it's uh, it's right on with that and uh, another difference uh, between the MTH's and Lionel is MTH has a ventilation hole, one hole on the top where Lionel has two. In the back uh, there are some lit up uh, gauges in the back there when I fire it up I'll try to get a shot of that and in the tender itself they're basically about the same uh, the only thing is Lionel does not have a light a backup light on the back of it and Lionel has three hatches right in here that um, has the volume control inside there where MTH only has one hatch that's showing okay all in all it's pretty darn nice uh, the uh, Lionel one is a little bit bigger uh, in the front. Overall, it's probably about an inch and a half bigger uh, than the MTH version. Uh, I do like it. I do like uh, a lot of the add-ons that they put on here. It looks really, really nice. The other thing that it has is a fire glow in the firebox there area too. Okay, I'm going to fire it up now show you what it sounds like. This is the dispatcher. Do you copy? I read you. Over. Very good. Start up and hold. Okay. Let's get to work. Out. There's some of the gauges in, in there that are lit up. You can see that. Uh, and they will stay lit as it goes around the track. Um, Put on some smoke for you guys. Okay. There's the whistle steam. Right there, it's pretty darn robust. And I do like the whistle itself. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start it out going slow. And you can see that the gauge is up in there and it has a fire glow in the box and there's the ash pan glow there itself there's some nice rings coming out of it looks pretty darn good I'm going to take it around the layout here As it approaches the sensor track, <clears throat> you'll hear uh, the crossing signal. It's pulling an MTH consist of the Reading and Northern cars. It has 10 cars in total. I really like the Reading and Northern cars. Okay, and here comes by the sensor track right now.
clear through the next mile post. Over. Clear ahead. Over. Roger that. That'll keep us moving. Out. It does have coal loading. And water. My water's full. Over. That's fine. Out. That's blow down. I like it. About an hour last night, ran flawlessly. And I do like the whistle. Hope you guys like the video. This is Laz 1957. Out.